All right, halfway through my Osram Jewel LED module tail light replacement here, my blazer. Uh, these are the LED modules that I am referring to. Uh, well, this one's got writing on it. I don't know if you can see through it. Osram Jewel L123, I think it's a zero. Zero R something or other. I had to write right through the part number on it. But if you Google it, they're all over the place. Uh, they come in newer Ford Mustang taillights, uh, Mercury Mountaineers, uh, which I think the Mountaineers are actually shorter, this section here, which is like the, I don't know what you'd call that, but basically the light comes from the bottom, reflects off of this, and then down, so it can be used in a normal uh, reflector taillight housing. Uh, that way you get more light output instead of through these guys, which I had originally, which just, yeah, they throw good red light, but they're not very bright because it, the tail light can't focus it correctly. It just throws everything out. There's no lighting that goes towards the back of the base where the reflector is, unlike these that shine from here and then back towards the base of the tail light. Uh, but anyways, I used a 3157 standard socket, basically, that comes on the truck. Um, everything below this base, this whole section is cut off, and it's hollow once you gut it, which then slides over the dual LED module after you grind off the factory locking tabs on it. And then it is epoxied down once you line it up. You can see I kind of put them in the tail light, line them up, and marked them with a Sharpie because they you do need to clock them correctly for them to fit right. Uh, and epoxy the quote unquote adapter that I made, and then they lock into the tail lights. Uh, now, just to show you, this is what I had before. Now, you'll notice only one's lit up. This is for the running lights. Uh, only one is lit up because with these bulbs, there's almost, with this, these bulbs, mind you, in here right now, you can see it kind of lit up a little bit. But with them, there's almost no difference between running lights and turn signals slash brake lights. So I actually cut one of the wires, so I only have one running light, which is this one here. Uh, this one still functions as a turn signal and brake. It just gets a little bit brighter. This one up here is sole purpose for turn signal and brake. Uh, and I'm going to go turn the flashes on and show you real quick uh, the fact that how this worked a little better. Now, it's, you can see the bottom one here is, it does get a little brighter, but not hardly enough to be noticeable. Uh, whereas this top one, that's, its only job is to blink. So, that's what I was working with before. And that is these type of bulbs in both the top and bottom bulb there. So, let me shut that off. I'll show you what I'm working with here. I've got the right side done. Now the right side has the jewels in both the top and bottom now. Uh, you can see them little guys in there. Hey, you see, they're, they don't look too impressive as far as a running light. Of course, it's daylight out. But you would be able to see that at night. It's going to be fairly obvious that, hey, tail light's on. Um, and looking at them side by side, it's hard to tell on camera, but the right is more visible now because I do have two bolts on. As opposed to the one. Um, but where that really makes a difference is in the turn signal and brake light output. So let me go turn the flashes on. I'll show you what I'm working with now with these. Significantly brighter. Now, of course, the camera just doesn't do it justice, but having them both blink already is a big difference in the fact that there is a good difference between running lights and turn signal slash brake lights is just it's when you can tell in the camera the way that the, the light is flaring out that the right is significantly brighter um, than the left so it is not an easy upgrade as far as wiring if you're scared to do wiring because you do have to hack off your original plugs you got to splice in the new 
Osram jewel plugs, uh, but it's just three wires, ground running and tail light, or ground running brake slash turn signal, whatever you want to call it. And uh, once you do that and get them clocked right, they all fit in there perfectly fine. Um, and the space is tight. They do fit. Now the base of these is really big. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty good sized base, but it does fit behind the tail light. Um, but space is still tight, so I would recommend soldering. Do not use crimps uh, for starters. Soldering is more reliable. Um, you heat shrink them. You're never going to have a problem with it. You shouldn't anyways. Uh, whereas crimps, they come loose. They're open to the elements as far as the ends of the crimps, so you're going to get corrosion. So crimps, heat shrink, and tape up your wires when you're done. Uh, just to kind of group them together and uh, keep your thing nice and secure. And everything does tuck in there. The wires tuck in nice. The bulbs have plenty of room to seat in there. And uh, it all comes out for a really nice finish and uh, good light output. Now, I'm not sure how well these would work in a factory tail light because I've had these aftermarkets for quite a while. I don't even have the factory tail lights anymore, so I can't even really try. But for these tail lights, they. Uh, working look great so right, this is what i started with eh. this is what i'm working with now nice and bright much safer